Uh, so I killed a guy. Or two. Your mayor didn't seem to care. Then explain why you shot him dead. <gasps> You'll hang for this. Not without a trial, I won't. Ain't no courts around here. Consider your trial. Expediated? That's a word, right? <gasps> Sheriff? Now this don't have to get ugly. You guys come in here? Arrest me for a crime that I didn't commit? Oh yes it does. Drop it or we- <gasps> Please stop gasping! Before you kill anybody in my saloon, I'd like to speak first. Now, I don't want to play devil's advocate, but Mr. Rodriguez here has been in my bar all day. Everyone out! Saloon is closed early today. Except for you two. Looks like we got ourselves a who gone done done it. Round up our suspects, Hank. Who'd you have in mind? The gangs? Nah, the mayor was shot. The gangs aren't allowed guns. Who else is carrying? As far as I know, the doc and the school teacher. Hank, get in there. As far as I'm concerned, you could have done it before you woke me. I'm your deputy. And your brother. You're also adopted. Now get your ass on the lineup. Doc. Of course, Sheriff. Plains tribes say, he who smokes this holds no lie in his heart. Never heard that. Neither have I. Silence! Now, here's how this is gonna work. You are gonna smoke this before speaking. If you say something that's fishy, that doesn't add up, you hit it again until it makes sense. Not much to say. My ass has been in that bar stool from the crack of dawn till when you two busted in here. Barkeep? Yep. If you don't mind, Sheriff, I got some cleaning to attend to. Thank you, Barkeep. You be on your way. Doc? Sheriff. At the time of the murder, I had just bought the latest issue of the Gazette from that charming young paper boy. Strike one, Doc. We ain't got a paper boy no more. You amputated his leg on account of his ingrown toenail. Damn it, that's right. What I meant to say was that I was legitimately acquiring a shipment of opiates from my usual supplier. Go on. Then I gave my usual greeting to Miss Laramie as she was on her way to the school house. Go on. He coerced me into letting him have some of my herbal remedies free of charge, lest he shut down my clinic. He strong-armed you? Like my mama always used to say, Doc, if you don't pull up them britches, a snake will come out and bite you. Sounds to me like a motive. Now, the man was unscrupulous, but I did not kill him. We'll see. Bonnie's turn. Of course, Sheriff. <laughs> I 
I was given the deputy reading lessons outside my schoolhouse when the mayor comes and tells him to shoot. He said some nasty things to me, said if I didn't do him favors, he would cut funding for the school. I reckon this ain't the first time. No, he was our mayor. What's a civil servant supposed to do? All right, just to be clear, is there anyone here who doesn't want in Bonnie's britches? Sounds to me like this guy was a bit of a scumbag. Hush, we still got one more piece. I was getting reading lessons from Miss Laramie until things got extracurricular, if y'all catch my drift. Hank McCarthy! You know the drill, brother. What Miss Laramie said was true. I hightailed it when the mayor interrupted my lesson. I saw how he treated her. I didn't want to believe it. You know it's my job to investigate things like these? Sorry, Sheriff, but we thought you might have known. I shudder to think what the mayor would have done if he'd known I'd gone to you. What's your excuse, Hank? I don't know, Ben. We're just lawmen. Look, this is enlightening and all, but it seems like you're back to square one. I'll tell you where I'm at. How do you think? Plains tribes help me. You all right, Ben? Rodrigo, mayor ever mentioned throwing you in jail? No idea. You know it's a felony to lie to a lawman in these parts? Not me, you should be saying that too. So the way I see it, we could hang this outlaw and dispense of this kangaroo court. But I ain't that lazy. What are you trying to say, Sheriff? Well, seeing that all parties claim innocence, I will throw the four of you in jail as I look over the evidence. What, but I need to run my school. In my clinic. Fine by me. You sure about that, hombre? Look, I've been to jail. It's no skin off my back. But I'm not confessing to something that I didn't do. Seeing the bandit is fine with it, all. Please, Sheriff, you can't throw me in jail with these men. Now, don't worry, ma'am. I didn't sure. just put me in jail by myself. Good. You know what those of his ilk do, the white women? Can it, you quack? I have a degree, you velvet cake. One at a time. I confess, I shot the mayor. No, I, I can't let you do that, miss. I'm, I'm guilty as well. As am I. All right, come clean, all of you.
rotten, man. He got what he deserved, and Rodrigo here has a price on his head. That ain't how we do things. What? You would have hanged him instead. It would have had the same result. Badge and gun. Come on. Badge and gun! Help me tie them up. Don't forget about the bounty. Y'all think long and hard about what you've gone and done. I can't see it, man. I guess you back here. You see, Jim, yes, you can. So you're not going to throw them in jail? Nah, just scaring them even after they killed an elected official. They were right about him. He got what he deserved. They better know not to ever pull that shit again. And now, there's a power vacuum waiting to be filled. <clears throat> Convenient for you, eh? Yeah, I suppose so. After spending a day in this shit all, I think I'd rather have the Federalis on my ass. Much more predictable. Adios. Well, good luck to you then. <laughs>